on the topic of legacy, we just wanted to play one video and get your thoughts. Very powerful for those who don't know that was your brother who um transitioned from this order. Uh, Abdul Rahim. I believe uh, October f October fifth of twenty twenty. October fifth, yeah. So it's um almost two years. a few months away from being two years. But um, you know, my brother Sheikh Abdul Aziz was a physician now. He he is he one of the things that he said was um, you know, may the wounds heal but never seal. Um but for us it was a very dark day, right? Especially when I think the challenge of young and at the same time um, and fuja'a the Prophet used to seek refuge Allah min a'udhu bikum min fawt min, min mawtil fuja'a yes, just sudden um, and at the same time just came back a few months before uh, my teacher one of one of the teachers at our school he, he said very beautifully that he came after but he, he, he won the race sometimes you're behind in the race but then you go ahead and win yes, so Allah maj'al khaira ayyami yama alqa kafiq this is a beautiful dua so he left while serving he was teaching hadith from 8 to 12.30, which is the um, the Alim program. And in between, he had a half an hour break. He, and after that half an hour, he would go to the other institute and teach Quran for four hours. So hadith, Quran. And in between, on that day, he was picking up medication for my mother. So he's teaching hadith, the aqwal of the Prophet And then he's going to serve his mother to teach Quran. Like, uh, and in between that, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala took him. So this is uh, one of the last, the last lesson he taught. I didn't know this till his students, the students told me. That was ha the, the hadith of the dua of janaza and how to pray salatul janaza. He left on a Monday uh, and that was a Monday he taught that and then he left. So like these are, these are signs, but at the same time, we got to continue working. Like, it wasn't as if a booker stopped working. Like he mm -hmm. said, no, I'm done. I can't do this anymore. We have to continue fighting through it. And inshallah we're going to connect again ala surim masfufa ala surim mutaqabilin you know it's just I feel for those who don't believe in akhirah how do you bear with your pain how do you bear with your loss like how do you how do you wake up in the morning knowing that or or, or, or believing that there is no akhirah and you won't meet your parents again like, that's well, difficult all that stress comfort. but no relief and for comfort. us it's it's khalas la khawfuna alayhim wa lahum yahsanun There'll be a time where I'll be able to hug him again and kiss him, right? And we'll be able to hug the Prophet And yes. at that moment, we see Rasulullah, you struggled more than anyone, but we saw a little bit of pain too. Is that hopefully that made you it made Allah happy, right? And and, and if we take it the right way, how Ibn Qayyim says, you know, the the, the, the can also be a ni'mah.